Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Alan Delmar, club manager at Rappahannock Cellars, and I'm joined by my dad, uh, owner and executive winemaker, and we are here to answer for you our wine club question of the month. Uh, this month we have a question from Rob, and he asks about the crystals at the bottom of, uh, specifically a bottle of 2009 Saval, but also more generally speaking, sediment in bottles generally, the different types of sediment. Um, what is it? Is it good? Is it bad? What does it mean? Uh, so so what, what are we talking about when we're talking about sediment here? Well, that's a great question, Rob. Thank you. Uh, it's one we often get, and it's a very misunderstood um, situation in the bottle, but a very naturally occurring one. Uh, specifically to the 2009 Save All, or, or many white wines, the crystals that you found are actually bitartrate crystals, which are unstable tartaric acid that precipitates out of the wine to the bottom of the bottle. Tartaric acid is the most common acid in wine. Now here at the winery, we take that wine before we bottle it and we chill it down very cold and we force that precipitation out at the winery. Um, and we want to do that so it doesn't end up in your bottle or your glass at home. Sometimes that bottle, you might chill it down at, at home in a refrigerator that's colder than we've stabilized it here. Or maybe as in the case of the 2009 Save All, it's gotten enough age and it's destabilized a bit so when you refrigerated it, the crystals formed and precipitated out of the wine. They're perfectly harmless. I wouldn't want to chew on them. They're acid crystals. Uh, but they're perfectly normal. It's very common to see these in many white wines, especially wines that are minimally processed as we strive for here at Rappahannock Cellars. Now more in general, your question about sediment at the bottom of the bottle, I think most of us would think of red wines where you get a lot of sediment at the bottom of the bottle, especially older red wines. Really what's going on there is part of that aging process that makes that wine softer and what we're looking for in the aging process. You have tannins that bind with the color compounds in the wine and those molecular chains start to grow in size. When they finally get big enough, enough tannin has bound with enough of these color compounds, they actually precipitate out of the solution. They're so heavy they fall out and they fall to the bottom. Well, what goes on there, you see an older red wine, it's a little lighter in color. We've lost some color as a result, which we're not crazy about, but we know it's a normal part of the process. Um, but those tannins have also bound. So now you don't have that gripping tannin in your mouth and the wine softens. You think of an old wine as being silky smooth. That's what's going on. That silky smooth wine probably has a lot of sediment at the bottom. Again, I'm not one to want to chew on it or, or, uh, or consume it, but perfectly harmless and part of the normal process of, of aging of wine. And um, I, I can't think of a sediment that would be dangerous or bad in a wine. So is there going to be a difference in different grape varietals? Are different wines going to accumulate more sediment over time quicker than others will? Or are there different conditions that are going to encourage that or you know, quicken the process? Yeah, great question, Alan, and yes, the answer. And I'll use an extreme case of Norton as a great example. Very unstable color. Norton at very young ages will start to precipitate out the color and you'll get a lot of sediment in the bottom of the bottle. Uh, a lot of it also has to do with building the structure of the wine in the cellar and building it here at the winery, binding many of those color compounds early, making that wine more stable will allow it, you'll see it go longer in the bottle before you uh, start to see the sediment and the compounds precipitating out of the wine. And so yes, that's the short answer. Rob, thanks again for your question. Keep them coming to all of you club members. We're getting great ones. We're enjoying answering them. So we'll see you again next month. Cheers. Cheers.